In this video, we're going to see that guest mode in Chrome browser isn't just for guests. Hey there, Juma fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Juma fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 177 here on the Basic Juma Tutorials YouTube channel. Let's turn our attention to the screen and get right to it. Today's video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the information and tools that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you choose to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get the first month free. All right, so I want to give a shout out to Alexandra Elise. I think I'm pronouncing your name properly, Alexandra. He was helping me the other night to, with the problem I had on my computer. And one of the things that he had me do was go into guest mode on Chrome. Now I've used incognito mode uh, for testing things, but uh, he had me go into guest mode because it uh, is different than incognito and we're going to take a look at that. And by the way, if you want to see the difference between guest mode and incognito, uh, read a bit about it. Uh, I'll give you a link to in the video description below to this article, which I referenced in preparing for this, looking for other things. All right, so here we are. We're at the basicjuma.com site in Chrome. I am logged in uh, under my profile. If I were to go to incognito mode, da, 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 uh, which basically does not track your cookies and shuts down a lot of your extensions that you have installed on Chrome, uh, I still have some extensions installed. Uh, the reason I do that is because these are password uh, extensions like and uh, like browser extension for NordVPN, and I have those set to run even in, cog in incognito mode. But if I want it quickly to be running Chrome without any extensions, instead of going in and turning these off, what I can do is this. I can go click on my profile here in the top right, Scroll way down because I have a bunch of uh, Google logins that I manage for clients and for family. Go all the way down here to guest and click on guest. And as you'll see, there is like nothing here. This is bare bones plain. Now, of course, guest mode, the purpose of it is if someone comes to your house and needs to use your, your computer, instead of giving them access to your login, you just open up a browser and say, here you go. Use guest mode and they can do whatever they want. They can log into their accounts. And after they log out, they aren't uh, there. None of their stuff is on your site uh, unless they've downloaded files. However, if you are running a test on some sites and you're wonder, uh, and working on a site and you're wondering if maybe one of the uh, browser extensions is uh, causing a conflict, for instance, Grammarly sometimes causes a problem with uh, the editors in Joomla. I've had Grammarly extension create problems with JCE editor or not when I was working on sites, you can just go into guest mode and everything here is plain as day. Now, the other thing that I like about uh, guest mode, uh, doing it this way is this. If we go to basic Joomla, even a, even a history is not uh, showing up here, basicjoomla.com. Here is a very clean page for making screenshots for clients or even doing video capturing. And I'm probably going to start using this for some of my tutorials so I don't have all that junk at the top of my browser. It's just super plain. So if you were to take a screen capture and tell one of your clients, hey, go up here to this address to show them how to log into uh, Joomla, uh, you would say, okay, here's the address. Of course, you have to type it out properly for them. All right. All right. You would just go up, select this, and say, go to this address. And you don't have to worry about any of your shortcuts or just being cluttered. Same thing with doing video captures as well. Also, the other thing that I would say for a pro tip is this. Don't forget that even though this is a mode for guests to use your computer, sometimes you may be a guest as well. And instead of logging in and your history being recorded in someone else's browser, if you uh, need to work on someone's site in an emergency or you need to check your email or something like that, you can very easily log in to your stuff as a guest at someone else's location. Now remember, still be careful if you're in a public location like a coffee shop or something using someone else's computer or uh, another computer. But if you're in someone's home, you're at your mom or dad's place or your sister's place, it's like, oh, I've got to log on and fix something for someone. Just go into guest mode 
in Chrome browser on their computer and all of your information will be gone except for files that you've downloaded after you leave. So I hope that tip was helpful for you. If that was helpful for you and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so. Ring the bell to get notifications, new live streams and things happening here on the channel, new tutorials, and uh, give the video a like. That helps others to find it. So until the next time, enjoy your Joomla site and God bless.